This tutorial is about importing data from Excel sheet to your data table. So I'm going to execute a simple scenario in which, in which we are going to compare the text present in the Excel sheet, uh, like this one that I already created, with the uh, text written in links in web uh, browser. I'm going to extract them. So uh, let's start by importing our Excel sheet into the data table. So simply let's uh, write data table dot import and let's uh, give it the path of our uh, Excel sheet. All right. Now uh, let's uh, write the code of extracting the uh, text written and the links in our uh, web uh, browser. So let's create an object where and let's give it a value. Link. We are going to work on um, objects in web browser, which are the links. All right. Now let's create another object, which is uh, object link. So uh, the browser. I'm going to give it the property of creation time. equal to zero. Now the page. Dot uh, equal to dot star. And child object. I'm going to give it the the objects containing the link. All right, so this object of link is going to contain all the links containing in the uh, any object uh, page uh, in, uh, in browser with creation time equal to zero. So now I'm going to compare the two strings the type uh, of the element that I'm going to compare are strings. So I'm going to use the method uh, strcomp. Uh, strcomp. I'm going to give it two values to compare. So before that, uh, I'm going to introduce a for loop. Okay. By i start from zero to of link that counts going to give us the total number of uh, the uh, elements uh, of links um, in our uh, web browser minus one because we start from uh, zero. Uh, all right, so uh, now let's uh, increment our uh, cursor. Of the data table, data table dot set control i plus one because um, unlike the uh, object, the um, data table uh, the cursor starts from one, so we need to implement implement it uh, with one in each iteration. All right, so now. I'm going to introduce a condition All right, so I'm going to test this condition. So I'm going to compare the value contained in my data table. I'm going to give it the name 
of the column in my Excel sheet. Okay, let's do next. Let's copy it. So as I told you, we have an Excel sheet. We are going to import it in my uh, data table here, and then I'm going to compare those values with values contained in the web browser. Okay. So data table links, and now I'm going to compare the values contained in the web browser. So it's going to be web best object. And now I need only the text written on this link. So I'm going to use the method get a row property and I'm going to give it the, the property of name. We are going only to extract the name. Alright. Equal to zero. So I am going to raise an error uh, if uh, there is a difference between those two strings, so I'm going to change this by not. Okay, so if uh, type mistake. If uh, so, uh, those elements are not equal. I'm going to raise an error. Okay, using this statement. So importer. Reporter dot report event. And I'm going to use the next cell, the name of the class, comma. I'm going to give a name to the error to make it clearer, for example. It's going to be Google Sync. And I'm going to add the error itself. So, data table all right and I'm going just to add a simple message to make it clear for the gesture uh, for example so for example this element was not found So uh, we need to, because we are um, incrementing the, the cursor of our data table manually, so we need to go to settings, uh, run, and make sure that the run one iteration only is checked. So then you have to click on apply, and then, okay, I already did that. So I'm not interested, I'm going to uh, make some change in my Excel uh, sheet too. To raise the error. I'm going to close it. Right. Um, save the work and then run it. So as you can see, we are importing from our Excel sheet in our data table here. So it is comparing the data. So here we have some errors raised by our script. So first of all, Google Links, for example, here. This element, as you can see, I changed it manually, was not found. Another thing, for example, use Google.com was not found. Uh, advertising was not found. So those elements, was, uh, they, they were not found in uh, my Excel sheet. So yeah, this is a simple scenario of uh, importing data and uh, comparing the, uh, the data contained uh, in uh, the uh, web browser. If you found that this video interest is interesting, please subscribe uh, and uh, thank you for watching.